Hi, I'm Taya and I do weekly live streams. This is a clip from one of those live streams. Uh, if you would like to watch the whole thing and you have plenty of time on your hands and lots of patience, feel free to uh, click on the full live stream that will appear at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Twitch boy gamers. Borderland oh my god, Borderlands 3 is out next week and I'm actually going to live stream Borderland playing Borderlands 3. <laughs> Should roast the fucking kids that are on there that'd be fun because i wanted to share this thing where actually i was still quickly talking about borderlands 3 this is worth sharing actually because this fucking story came up hang on let me camera right no that's not what we want this article right look at this how the fuck I am not, I just find this whole fucking thing absolutely ridiculous. Right? <laughs> this is where we've got to. And I'm not saying that this wasn't stupid, okay? I'm not saying that this wasn't um, completely, it, it wasn't an out, like an overreaction. Like I posted this on Facebook and some, <laughs> and someone was like, you know that it's just their terms of service, right? And I said, yes, I know. But this is where we are. This is not a commentary on misgendering necessarily, even though I think that it's a fucking load of shit. It's a comment on the fact that this is a fucking article in the first place. So it's not, it's just, the, it's, it's, it's how this has entered our culture, right? So what happened? <laughs> is that basically Gearbox, Gear, I'm going to read it out, Gearbox has spoken out about the game's character FL4K, who's one of the main playable characters, um, who's been announced as having a preferred pronoun of they, right? And um, the, the, the company, they said that basically it's on the forums, so the Gearbox forums, and I, internet being internet, I imagine what's happened here, that the kids have just been going, oh, is they, oh, fucking, and then deliberately misgendering the character, right? Then obviously that's upsetting non-binaries on the forum. So they remind the community that they re that misgendering is a thing. I imagine that's what's happened. Again, I used to do community moderation. I can, I know what's happened here. They just remind people of the rules, but this has then created an article, <laughs> which is that it's just the fact that it's a fucking article. It's got nothing to do with the actual the issue. It's just how this has bled into our culture. And it's just, and, and we we're talking about Gamergate before. And uh, a lot of this, you know, that thing, I just wanted to play video games. I feel the same way. I, I just like Borderlands 3 and I am interested in this gender stuff, but they're separate things. I just wanted to fucking enjoy Borderlands 3 without these fuckwits polluting every aspect of our culture. Okay. I, 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 I'm pretty sure that Flack, who is a robot, is they. Like, that's fine. Okay. But I... You know, and yes, intentionally misgendering. It's, it's, it's absurd that you could intentionally misgender a robot, but it's not about that. It's about intentionally. I don't think that's, I don't think it's a nice thing to do. I think it's fucking a dick thing to do, regardless of whether I think it's legitimate or not. I don't, I don't think it's a good thing to do. But, you know, there's an outrage article saying that it caused an uproar on Twitter because of like... <laughs> No, Borderlands is a first-person shooter. Play Borderlands 2. It's fucking, it is the best game. It's so funny. So um, basically everyone cracked the shits because they went, oh, well, now we can't misgender a robot on a game without being policed with gender. Cr and it's like that, that probably wasn't what happened. Right, that definitely, I, I know how that, they just basically probably got, the moderators probably got complaints and um, Gear, Gearbox just reminded people that misgendering is hurtful. And to fucking pull your head in. I know how these go, these kids go. We just had one in here, <laughs> right? It's like they just say the say shit. So, um, but I just find it funny the fact that this is just fucking news, and that when I posted it saying this is fucking stupid, what is going on? That people assumed that I was reacting to the idea that it was misgendering, and then lectured me on 
and it went into a spiral argument about whether misgendering is wrong and whether you, I agree with harassment. And I said, no, I'm commenting on the fact that this is a fucking article in the first place, that this is how we've gotten here, that this, uh, my video yesterday where I talked about like just clickbait, it's just fucking getting you to click, right? The reason that I preview these things in here is because I, you know, it's, I just don't want to fucking give them any more money than it's absolutely necessary. But yeah. Now they're sitting there going, regardless of the confusing nature of the story, we can't, it's inescapable. I just want to be able to walk, exactly, I want to be able to walk forward in a game, let alone worry about pronouns. <laughs> Sorry, I think the chat thing turned off. Hang on, give me a sec. Did it turn on? Is it on? Anyway, so Flickr said this, right? I just want to be able to walk forward in a game, let alone worry about pronouns. And that's how everybody feels about this. This is how we feel. And I don't know why, if this is up or not. That's fucking, oh, that's stupid, it's buggy. Okay, I'm turning it off. <laughs> but I, I just wanna keep going through this article just because I need, I don't wanna rant about it, but it's like people are weighing in. Do you know who's, I looked at this, do you know who's weighing in? 10 fucking people, 10 people. <laughs> oh, well, actually, as a non, as a non-binary, I think this is an important conversation to have. No, I think it's redundant and I think it doesn't matter. And I think that you have too much time on your hands. It's not that important. Borderlands 2, and I can guarantee, is a kick ass game for women, right? Fucking Tiny Tina and Moxie. Moxie is a hyper sexualized and fucking great, but she's powerful and smart and all that stuff. She owns all of the bars in town. She's great. Um, uh, Lilith is the, the head of the Crimson Raiders in Borderlands 3. It is, and it's just not enough, is it? It's just not enough to have amazing, strong, funny female characters. They have to fucking make it, pro they have to problematize this fucking, the one game that's actually half fucking decent. You've got a big fat plus size Ellie who's proud of her sexuality. You've got tiny Tina who's a bomb expert and it's fucking amazing. And in the new game, they've got female psychos. So you can definitely shoot female enemies in the head now, which you couldn't do. They were all male before, but now it's equal, it's equal opportunity shooting. It's great. Fuck me. You know, like, can't we just play a game there's, and, and actually, you know what, I'm actually going to, do you know what I'm going to do? I am going to declare Borderlands 2 to be a feminist game. If you play it, you'll get it. And I, it gets the stamp of approval and it is not problematic in any way. It's great. It's fucking funny. Right. And self-aware. So anyway, that's me ranting. <laughs> Sorry, I ranted. But, and I'm excited for Borderlands 3 because it seems like, you know, Lilith is now in charge and her story and her backstory is great and I am so fucking sick. And now they're not happy with like some great equal treatment. They need to fucking add some more genderqueer fucking problems on top of it. Can't we just enjoy the fact that we got a great feminist game for a minute? <laughs> My ranty bogan voice came out, didn't it? <sighs> uh, well, programming gender into AI is, it's not AI necessarily. Um, it's just the, the story of the characters. So I imagine that they're going to be... Um, I mean, fucking Borderlands 2 is great. It's politically incorrect. That's why I was so surprised by this article, actually. I might actually edit this video down into something because um, uh, what I found most interesting about Borderlands 2 was that they're, they're so political, they don't give a fuck. And the fact that they don't give a fuck and they have, like, things called midget boners <laughs> as characters and bully mongs and, you know, it, it's, it's again, it's the Dave Chappelle, it's equal opportunity, like, roasting. And the fact that they, on Borderlands 3, Borderlands 3, they were more inclusive on how many different people you can shoot. That's fantastic. Like, it's great. That's what we want. Right? The ability to shoot everyone in the fucking face. <laughs> oh, shit. That could be taken out of context. In video games. <laughs> it's like oh my god it's it's where's the fucking humor so um but i'm really looking forward to this but the reason the fact that this gender shit has polluted an otherwise pretty decent fucking video game that is just it's it's it's, it's a race to the bottom this cordial is going to be problematized somehow I, it probably already is because it's artificially sweetened and probably a harks back to fucking Native American fucking oppression or something. I don't know anymore. Like, I'm just, you, you solve the problems you can solve. 
The rest is just a blog, right? Anyway, I ranted. But this article, so... <laughs> I, I can raindrop it, but if you're going to purposely misgender flat, you're a dick. If you purposely misgender anyone, you're a dick. Trans rights. This was in the forum, right? Uh, no. It's a fucking robot character in a video game. <laughs> oh, please. But it is something that I just find very strange. <laughs> like the Calypso twins, right? These are the main enemies. Look how badass they are. And they're twins. They're 16 year old twins. And I've seen some of the clips and the dynamic between them. He's actually, there's actually a parasitic relationship between the boy and the girl and she's the stronger one. And he's, he, and so they're kind of, they're doing that, that you know, is that not woke enough for you? Right? It's just like, fuck. I just wanted to play video games and now I'm sitting here thinking about gender. It's like, Doug Stanhope's bit about how I just want to watch football and now I've got to think about AIDS and breast cancer. <laughs> I don't want to. I just want to enjoy my sports. <laughs> it's like, fuck off. <laughs> go back to Tumblr. Go, you know what? Go fucking, go, go to Tumblr. Talk about it all you want in your bubbles. Okay? Just, ugh. And I screw it up. Back to, I'm going to circle back to the beginning of this live stream. Right, I'm going to circle right back to this live, to the beginning of this live stream. We're the parents of these children. We need to start saying no to them. We need to stop giving them power. We need to stop fucking pandering to them. The children are not. The children are our future. Yes, but they're fucking idiots. They got to grow up first. Okay. <laughs> I speak from experience. If you'd given me political power when I was outside of student politics. I would have done the exact same shit as would the hippie movement before me and the fucking, you know, everyone before us. You don't give children power. Stop listening. Okay? Jesus. Their passion's great, but you've got to channel it into other things. They shouldn't be in government and they shouldn't be, like, fucking... They should... Okay, you know what they should be doing? Sitting on Tumblr, talking about queer fucking shit on video games. And talking about movies. They should not have the power to cancel a working actor or a, a, a video game studio. They should be allowed to sit there and talk about it in the fandom, but they should not have influence or power. Okay? <laughs> That's where we've gone wrong, and that is, that is very much linked to our inability to say no to these kids from the day they were fucking born. And not just that, and this is something that I didn't mention earlier in the live stream, which was the fact that as um, that they've, they're the first truly digital native customers. They have been, um, in, in my discipline, we could, we could call it this customer-centric design or user-centric design. Literally, they are literally considered to be the center of the fucking universe by parents, by marketers, by tech companies, by everybody, and nobody is saying no. And that's Gen X's job, right? That's our job as parents to say, no, you can't do that. Don't be an asshole, okay? You don't know things. Me, parent, you, child, okay? And we need to do that on a, on a, on a broader scale. So we're the ones that fucked up here. Claire Fox, read Claire Fox. She talks about anti-bullying programs. It's not the kids. They actually grow up truly believing that, that being left out is 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 bullying or that words are bullying you can't then bully them for believing what we taught them right it's our fault for pandering and letting this shit slip through the cracks so um anyway i hope that that <laughs> yeah but exactly and flicker just said the woke children would like to soil and green all of us absolutely and that's why they can't have power because that's how that's how it is and it's not anything against young people i love it Watching my kids experience the world and grow up and, and, but they haven't had any adversity, right? They're facing it. They're, they're the first generation that are sitting here thinking that the world is ending. Well, they're not the first generation, but they're the first generation to truly fucking believe it. If they're told that the world's ending, 
you, you know, everyone acts like that. Like Flicker said, Walking Dead earlier. Have you seen The Walking Dead? Yeah, that's how people act <laughs> in the apocalypse. It's every man themselves. Of course they're going to fucking do this stuff. But we need to turn around and go, okay, I want to have a talk to you about this. And I think that if you've got a friend who's in this church, you need to have a conversation with them and go, do you know what, I really think you might be in a cult. Um, and it's not that I disagree with your view. It's like you can you can agree with the ideas of Jesus without being a fucking evangelical Christian. It's the same idea. But I really think if you think that someone's really been caught up in this, I think you need to have a conversation with them and say, okay, you know what, like I think that you've been caught up in something um, that's not what you, what it seems. And, uh, yeah, because I really do think we're seeing a first – virtual religion play out i really do it's quite an interesting phenomenon isn't it what a remarkable time this is <laughs> it's remarkable um but yeah i just want to play fucking video games but this is what they should be doing in this you know the same that's the you see, see what i'm saying see the message i'm saying <laughs> on one hand <laughs> this shouldn't anger me because this is what the kids should be talking about because that's what kids are supposed to do. They're supposed to fucking figure things out. But on the other, the fact that it has polluted every aspect of everything else that I can't even enjoy a video game makes me annoyed. The fact that this is an article makes me annoyed. The fact that someone is making money off of sharing this fucking bullshit clickbait, it's funny. <laughs> I, I mean, shit fights, you know, internet drama are my favourite fucking things. But at the same time, like, it, it's got to end, you know. Like, we've got to be able to have some fun. We've got to be able to laugh. And that's why, I, again, I don't know if the answer is to be an activist. Thanks for watching this clip. I hope it uh, gave you something and piqued your interest. If it did, please like and subscribe and share. That's all I need from you. If you want to support me, you can just refer me for my business services. Uh, the link is up here. Uh, and if you want to watch the full live stream from this video, the link is in the card to my, to your right. <laughs> Peace. Love you. Bye.